Okay, this problem is a good example of back solving where we want to take the answer choices and we want to put them back into the problem. The problem is saying total enrollment is 12% greater than it was five years ago. So what is the total enrollment five years ago? So take one of the answer choices and then add 12% of it. And when you add 12% to it, you want the total enrollment of now, which we see is 1400 in the graph up top. So tricky thing is though, you don't want to take 12% of A through E, you want to actually take 112% of A through E. And the trick here is that it's 12% greater than whatever the number is, which is already 100% of it. So let's take one of these numbers. Now, I'm looking at these numbers and they're all pretty ugly. For instance, if I start with C, which is 1,220, and I try to take 12% of that, that's kind of a, an ugly operation. However, if I say, let's make this easy on ourselves, let's just call it 1,200. Is it easy to take 12% 12 of 1,200? Well, it's not too bad. What's 12 times 12? Well, 144. So now we're going to say 1,200 plus 144 gives us 1,344. So 12% 12 of 1,200 only gets us to 1,344. So you can see that, well, C is 1,220 is not good, definitely not going to get us there. And anything below that, so A, B, C are all gone. Now we're just down to D and E. Now I'm looking at E, and E looks a lot more plug plug inable or back solvable than answer choice D does because E is 1250. So what is 12% 12 of 1250? Well, what's 10% of 1250? 125, We're simply dropping the zero. What's 2% of 1250? Well, what's 1% 1 of 1250? Move it in twice, that's 1250, it's 2%, double the two, so we, we now say, oh, it's 25. And just like that, you can oops, add those together, you get 150. And what are we adding 152 to the original 1250? And boom, there it is, 1400, and therefore our answer is E.